They said it couldn't be done. They said that is, you can't make an entire vlog episode about Kit Kats. Well, I think we're gonna prove them wrong. ordered a variety pack of Kit Kats from Japan. I thought, you know, I wanted to share this experience with you because I have no idea what's actually in here. If it's any good, uh, if it's stale, it's probably a little stale. We'll find out. I said, let's just go right into it. Let's see what we got. Sushi candy Kit Kat and Tyrol chocolate set? Tyrol? I don't I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it looks like we probably got a few more things than Kit Kats. Alright, so let's see just what flavors we got in this little mystery bag. Try not to crush them, jeez. It's a little tinier than I expected, but that's alright, that's alright. I mean, bite size, we're always talking about watching our salts and things and food. Guess we gotta watch our sugar too, right? Yeah. I wanna eat the plastic, right? Sure it's on a warning label somewhere. All right, so we've got the original, original flavor, Kit Kat Premium Mint. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've had these before. I'm pretty sure, even though I can't read what that says at the bottom, I'm pretty sure it's the dark chocolate Kit Kat, which is delicious. Ah, you know what? Why am I not looking at this, right? This, it says it right here what they uh, translate it as. So this is the Thick Matcha. Thick matcha. We're gonna call that one matcha. That's probably matcha. This, the strawberry cheesecake. If you can get a, see, okay, now this is just confusing. Now we got another one with a polar bear on it. What is this? Two polar bears? This might be cookies and cream? All right. Aside from the color, I think this one's supposed to have a little penguin on it. According to this paper, the sheet is lying. A little tiny penguin, but there's no penguin. Unless there's another one with a penguin. I know there's a lot of candy here. The rice dumpling Kit Kat. I'm not even sure if I had regular rice dumplings before. Maybe, I mean, I did spend a little bit of time in, uh, in Tokyo, which was cool. But I don't remember if I had dumplings in particular. You had to have, right? I feel like that's a, that's a staple in most foods, a dumpling somewhere. Not sure how I feel about the Kit Kat, we will find out. What else do we have here? All right, so this is the raspberry Kit Kat. And then this one, we actually picked up here at the store, mint and dark chocolate Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the dark chocolate or regular chocolate? No, mint and dark chocolate. So, that's that's just the bonus one. I've actually had this one. We had two. Sorry, I couldn't wait. It was, it's delicious, and it was there. And what, let's, let's see what these are. So this is the Tyrol, Tyrol chocolate, biscuit chocolate. We have some eclairs, strawberry jelly chocolate. As long as it still tastes good. We also got the white chocolate, the white and cookies. Which I assume is just like cookies and cream, right? And then what are these? What are these things? And we have two mystery flavors. Two unmarked flavors on here. This looks like it might be a cheesecake. What is this? This is apparently red solo cup flavor. I mean, Y'all got a better interpretation of that, you let me know. Let's open a few of these things up. Let's open some of this warped chocolate and see, all right, I'm gonna skip this one because y'all already know what this tastes like. If you don't know, go get a Kit Kat, try it. I've eaten far more of those than I should. I should get like a napkin or something. I feel like I'm gonna make a mess. Know thyself and adjust accordingly. Attempt to minimize getting food all over my lab here. Let's see. So destroyed and oblong and melted. It's like Kit Kat dust. Round one. The dark chocolate Kit Kat. Delicious, of course. It almost has, I imagine the dark chocolate's not a very high percentage because a lot of dark chocolate, the more closer you get to 100% cocoa, it is super bitter. If you've never had 
like 80% cocoa chocolate, it's an acquired taste. It's not bad, but it's very different. Not at all what you expect for, but it's low sugar. And so, I mean, it's a good taste. I like it with almonds a lot. Slightly more bitter than, than your conventional milk chocolate, but it's great. And the wafer kind of cuts that bitterness a bit. Yeah. I say bring 50 more, it's great. All right, what are we doing next, what are we doing next? Classic matcha. Let's try the, uh, let's try thick matcha. All right, partially melted. Thick matcha Kit Kat. So many years ago, I worked as a barista at Starbucks. And sometimes, late nights, stuff's going on, not a lot of people coming to get coffee. You get bored, and you and your coworkers, do silly things like grab a scoop of matcha and just eat it. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. I can definitely see why, why it's thick matcha. Personally, I like the taste of matcha. So I would say uh, this is probably not for everyone, but it is definitely for someone. <laughs> it is definitely for someone's. Yeah. Also in an effort to not completely gorge myself in this episode and like puke afterwards, I'm gonna take a bite of each of these, rather than eat all of them right now in one sitting. I'm totally doing this in one shot. Well, not one shot, but one sitting. I'm not, uh, I'm not developed cinematically enough to do all of this in one take. Still trying to get the connection between my brain and my mouth to work better. All right, so rice dumpling. We are going rice dumpling, y'all. It's just, it's the shipping has like just destroyed candy. Here you go. That, that is a strange flavor. It's almost like you can taste a little bit of strawberry flavoring in it. And I say flavoring instead of strawberry because I feel like strawberry flavoring has a very different taste than an actual strawberry. And there's like a little hint of that in this. It almost tastes like a, like a custard. Like it's kind of, it's thick and creamy. It has a little hint of vanilla in it. I'm actually kind of surprised by this one. This is not what I expected for it. And it really does have like a, I mean, I don't know what rice dumplings taste like, but I can imagine if there was a rice pudding, that this is it. That this is, it's a wafer wrapped in a uh, rice pudding. That's what it tastes like. I'm into it, it's good. Should we do regular matcha? Nah, 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 not regular matcha. Let's do, what's, okay, the other, the other polar bear here, which I'm assuming is the same as the penguin, which is cookies and cream. Not to be confused with white and cookie. It smells like straight up just a handful of vanilla bean powder. I'm in. I'm into it. I do love some vanilla bean. Not gonna lie. Japan, send me more of these. Just, just get them in the grocery store. I need these in H E B. This is delicious. This is sort of like the, the regular like the Hershey's cookies and cream bars that you get. But this, oh man, I feel like my, my kidneys. I can feel my heart beating. My kidneys right now. It's just sugar destroying them. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. But it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. You know what? I'm not even gonna save that for later. Oh. That's delicious. That is delicious. This weird misleading polar bear character. It's so good. All right, so we've got premium mint. Uh, regular matcha, regular as matcha. It ain't thick matcha. It's just regular as matcha Kit Kat. And, what was this one? Strawberry something? Ooh, raspberry. I do like raspberry the fruits. Not a huge fan of raspberry flavoring. I feel like they never get the flavor quite right and it always has this like plastic aftertaste that just coats your mouth. But here we go with some raspberry flavored Kit Kat. It's almost a little bit bitter. I don't think raspberries are sour. But that has a little bit of that, a um, little bit of kick to it. Of course, could totally just be this one. I don't know if that's the standard. Well, sometimes you just get a one-off somewhere. Uh, I will say, not my favorite, not my favorite. Probably gonna save that for later. By save it for later, I mean give it to somebody else because it's not great. All right, second polar bear, strawberry, and cheesecake, according to the pic. Strawberry, not strawberry cheesecake, but strawberry and cheesecake. It is both. It smells like the crust, crust of the cheesecake. That's kind of impressive. It does not taste 
like the crust of the cheesecake. So this one, I feel like they kind of tried to emulate it by wrapping the wafer in a crust flavoring and then putting the strawberry on the wafer on the inside, which you can kind of see the way they did it here. Wrapping and then this sort of like infuse of flavor on the inside. I almost feel like they would have been better off with just making the hard crunchy part taste like the crust and then maybe wrap it in strawberry. It's just got that weird plastic aftertaste. I like what you did. I appreciate you for trying. It's not, it's not my thing. So now we're going to premium, premium mint chocolate. Not no regular mint chocolate. Not regular mint and dark chocolate, but premium and regular chocolate? Premium regular chocolate. Oh, now this, this smells like those, uh, you know those Andy's mints that they always give you at Olive Garden? You leave like, oh hey, your breath stank, you had some of this stuff here, taking Andy's mint. It smells like that. I love those mints, I do. I feel good. Yeah, that's some premium chocolate right there. This is the right balance of mint. You got enough of a kick of it, but it's not too strong and overpowering. The chocolate just kind of smooths it out. The chocolate itself is great. That was delicious. I'm pretty sure it's dark chocolate too. Doesn't say on the pack, but it's got that little hint of bitterness to it. Yeah, that's another one. Can't wait. Straight to the kidneys. Here we go. I'm trying to decide if I should eat all these uh, these Tyrol, Tyrol. I have maybe I should stop and look this up real quick. I don't even know how to pronounce this. I should know how to pronounce it. Although I didn't even know I was getting it. it was a surprise on me. I thought I was just getting a bunch of Kit Kats. Let's go into the big boy here of the mint and dark chocolate. Of course, you know, I told you I had a little little taste of this the other day, and it's delicious, so I'm not gonna overdo it. I'm just gonna have a quick break. Just a, just a little bit. I do like the aesthetics of this, too. I don't know why. It's just food, right? You know what? Ate them in the wrong order. Ruined it for me. Premium chocolate and mint? I see why. Don't get me wrong, that's delicious. But I want some more of that premium. Yeah. Wafer flakes in my beard. I ain't even, I ain't gonna mess with this one. I ain't gonna mess with original Kit Kat. Cause y'all already know, y'all already saw the first 10 things about me. Original vlog, can you believe we've been doing the vlog this long already? This is like episode, what, 29, 29? I think it's 29. 29 weeks of doing this in a row. That's a lot, that's a, that's a dedication. I went off on a tangent for a second there. Kinda lost my place, but that's all right. What I'm saying is the very first episode we mentioned Kit Kats. I know y'all loving this and you wanna know, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different Kit Kats and we got two left, regular ass matcha and regular ass original Kit Kat. You know what? No, 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 we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna stop. We're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop just complaining about our sugars. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do all of these Kit Kats. I'm gonna leave these for another vlog though. These, I'm gonna figure out one, how to pronounce it. And then once I can accurately pronounce the brand, we do a little taste testing on those too, but right now, regular matcha. Not a huge difference from thick matcha. There's a little bit of a of a texture difference, a little more clump. You can definitely tell they put more of the powder into it. But I mean, a little bit of matcha, a lot of bit of matcha. It all kind of tastes the same. Still delicious. Got a nice crunch to it. Nice even. It has a little bit of grit, but I don't know. I don't mind that. I think uh, maybe. Maybe if you've had matcha before, you already know it's kind of gritty. I mean, and you're okay with the grit. So it wasn't really a surprise. If I had never had it and then tried this, I might be a little put off by the fact that it's gritty chocolate, but eh, I like it. And it tastes just as good as thick matcha. So last, but not least, definitely not least, no, the original, the OG of my Kit Kattery, and my, my strange candy addictions. Original Kit Kat. Yeah. Still delicious. Well, wash my hands so I don't lick my fingers like an animal on here. Wipe them on my face or anything. I back. So there we go, y'all. We have gone through 10 flavors of Kit Kat. There are so, there are so many more flavors out there. I feel like I've seen websites that just you, you're led down the rabbit hole uh, you know, of reddits of people who found this, who found that, and it's just more and more Kit Kat, something like 200 different types out there. So I'm glad we got to experience this 
this little section of them. And especially now I'm getting older, I try not to eat a lot of sugar if I can help it. I've always had a sweet tooth. It's just kind of what it is. But I try to keep it under control a little. I think Kit Kats just kind of slipped under the radar for me. Every time one pops up, it's just like, one. Yeah, I take a little bit of candy. It's chocolate. Chocolate does it. No. I, was, I always want to encourage people, try something new. So if you, I just looked on Amazon. I typed in different kind of Kit Kats. I found a variety pack and it was like, oh, nine bucks. They'll send you a bunch of Kit Kats. I went for it. So I'm not saying necessarily this kind of, uh, this candy in particular, but if there's something out there, if any of this sparks your interest, you want to try it out, I'll say look it up, give it a shot. Best case, you find something brand new that you like and you share it with your friends. Should have broken them off so I've just like bitten them. So I can share them with friends too. Now they're going to also share some spit. I'll just have to order more. Share them with people. Order the good ones. I'm sorry. Uh, strawberry and cheesecake and raspberry. Mm. Yeah, you're not making the cut on this one. You're not doing it. So I've got to, got another busy week coming up, but it's always busy. But it's always a good kind of busy, you know? It's getting closer. It's getting closer to these releases. Oh, Sky Titan is getting their first, first release is out here in 2020. It's coming up. So keep an eye on that. I mean, until next time, tell me a little bit about your sweet tooth. But in the comments, I'm um, not stuff. Or in real life, if you know me, that's cool. Alright, I'm out. I'm over here like, what can I do with a vlog this week? Maybe I'll take a take a page from Casey Neistat and go do one about jogging. When I realized my cardio is garbage. <laughs> it's garbage. Well as much as I do, yeah, running. Running I just fall apart. So, let's go the exact opposite direction. Sit down and eat some candy.